hey guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to implement image upload in django rest framework so that's what i'll do we're going to start it right now so i have the simple profile model so we have the main field we have the bio field and we also have the picture field right so you can see right now i'll show you how you can implement image upload right here it's not the usual way you'd think is being done you understand so let's do that right away now go down to my serializers.pyfi let me open this to the right so this is my serializers now I'll go down to the bottom i'm gonna just click, let's click serializer for this i'm gonna say class let's say profile serializer and that's the serializers dot model serializer Lizer, you okay i think that's correct so now i'm gonna say the class should be class meta And the model sh should be profile. So you can also since you boy, so did trying to import profile itself. So I'm sure to implement image upload in Django S frameworks. So let's start right away. So as for the fields now, let me just put in the fields should be equal to I'll say ID, then name then bio and then what was it called again picture so after you've done this now let's go create a view for this picture right so after we've done this let's go to our view sets so now so the views of PyFi here's the views I'm gonna close some of this stuff let me open the view so let's come over here and say class product view set and everything from model view sets so I'll say serializer class serializer class let's say query set let me import this stuff first from the serializers where are you let's import profile serializer profile serializer and also let's import the profile model okay yeah so oh I just I missed something profile so yeah so now come over your query set should be profile.object.all and then civilizer class should be equal to profile serializer okay now this is all, okay this is it now so if i go down to my postman so i'm going to show you something so now let's go let's look at the url of this quiz i call this to be profile not product sorry profile so now let's get the url for this particular view so let's do that right away i think i have the url open somewhere okay that is not it so okay so just add one more let's just add i'm gonna say router dot register and i'll say profiles profiles and then views dot profile profile view sets okay so this is it now go down to your postman and let's see something okay okay guys so now i also have to change my parts my url parts to this i just have to include this n and underscore because it seems i already have this profile somewhere else as a url endpoint so i also have to just append n and underscore to it to make it look different hope you get so once we've done that now go down to this endpoint now this url n underscore profile so you can create a new profile right okay so now let's do, so now let's do that right now go down to this yes postman okay i'm going to create a new tab so now let's go down to local hosts local hosts then 8001 that's our current post number then four slash api then n underscore profiles okay so we have this now so i'm going to create a new profile right you can see the fields we have here we have these fields, the name, the bio, and the picture. So let's do that right away. So I'm going to use 
the form data so I'm gonna reduce this so say name the other one is called a bio and this is called picture okay the name I'm gonna say let's say Lionel Messi mm, bio mm, FIFA best men's player 2022 and picture I'm gonna use a file you can find now so I, I'm gonna pick a random picture for this oh where is another one of my speed see where are you okay let's choose this open okay now so we have this now once I click on send make sure it's a post request post and put in your four slash in front and then click send Okay, you can see now we have Lionel Messi on the screen. We have Messi created now. I can see we are also able to add our picture. You can see the picture URL. It's worked, right? But let's assume you, you are working with a front end developer, someone that is using React.js or Vue.js. This isn't going to work for them. For you, it's for you, it's working on Postman, right? But as for your front end developers, they can't send post requests if you leave your code like this like if you just come over here do this and create your views it's not gonna work for the front end guys you get the reason why it's not gonna work is because the front end guys they majorly use form data to send images you understand that to send images you get so i i need to also accept that form data in your views in your views if you don't accept it it, it, like you can't receive those files they are sending to you you get so right now I'm going to show you how it's been done okay first of all you just paste this in so just import this from rest from rest framework passers import your multi pass your multi pass so once you've done that now go down to your view set and then add this also add your passer classes remember we've imported the multi part passer and the form passer at the top right so after you've done it, you're not done yet. You're gonna also create, you're gonna also override the create function in our view sets. I'm gonna say dev, then create. Mm, okay, perfect. So that is all I need there. Okay, so let's do this now. So I'm gonna do this, this. I'm gonna simply get so as I said, as I said before, the front end, the front end guys are going to use the form data to pass to send requests to our endpoint and we need to accept this data through the form data they send to us we need to accept it in the form data style and these are is being done so say request the data the square brackets then the name of the field which is what we have here so to get the name i'll say name now and then do the same thing for your bio Instead, so do the same thing request of data and then we do bio. The same thing applies for your image for your picture. Do the same thing. So, yeah, so after we've done this now, let's come over here. We then say I spelled picture wrongly. We then say profile. Let's import profile at the top here. I think it's imported already. So just come over and say profile dot objects dot create. So we'll say name should be equal to name, which is what we have here. Then bio should be equal to bio. And then picture should be equal to picture. Hope you get that. So once you've done this now, so let's return the response. So right now I already returned the response. I just copied and pasted this out here so you don't have to waste time. So now these are response now. So I told you how, this is how we do it. Understand? So let's go and try again. 
I'll see if this is also going to work. Okay, now we're on the same end point, the same thing. So I'm going to change this to Ronaldo. I say Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. And let's put 2021 here. Okay, so let's see if it works out. So, so let's click on send. You can see what am I having stored there? That's us solve the problem is okay why say we have been stored created successfully why what i passed here is profile i don't know why the clash but it is fine so let's 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 check the database right now okay the database to confirm okay sorry we didn't even need to go that route go down to your postman come over here let's look let's get let's click on this the get method let's send Okay, now I think you can see we have Ronaldo created. We have Ronaldo created successfully. Ronaldo created. We also have Messi up here. You can see now I was telling you before if you are trying to like upload images in Django S framework, this is the right way to go about it because of the front end developers who want to send their requests, they want to send their want to send their image files, and these are you are meant to accept. The files the amount to send image files and some text files and some text data rather so these are meant to accept it and make sure you pass your passer classes and instead make sure you pass them so this so this so this video now is just for image upload for a sing it just it's just for a single image upload on this channel I already have a tutorial on where I thought how to how to implement multiple image upload in Django REST framework. So I'm going to put the link to that video in this video description. And to my Django REST framework crash course, I also have a crash course on Django REST framework where I taught how to build a RESTful API for an e-commerce website. So I'm also going to draw the link to that video, to that playlist in this video's description. So you can check it out for yourself. As I was saying before, to do this, you create, your serial, you create your models, then your serializers, then your views, like we have here. Here's our view, our views.py, and then your URLs, and then you're good to go. So that's it, so that is it for image upload in Django REST framework. So check this, check this video description for how to upload multiple images in Django REST framework and also for your crash course in Django S framework. So just check this video description. You'll find all the links you need there. So I'll see you in the next video. So stay blessed and bye bye.